Hello, I'm Alec Martinez, and today we're going to go over some advanced martial arts techniques that should help work on your balance. Last time we worked through various stances, trying to go dynamically from one movement to the next while controlling your stance leg. Today what we're going to do is a series of kicks. These kicks are designed to perturb your balance while forcing you to maintain a static position against outside forces such as your leg movement and also building up the endurance in the muscles on both sides as you perform these movements. We're going to start easiest and then move hardest, hitting different areas. For starters, we're just going to start in a shoulder width staggered stance, which means your feet are as if they're standing on opposite corners of the square at shoulder width apart. They should be equal distance sideways and front to back. Your hands are going to be up just to help you balance. You can use these as a guard position in martial arts normally, but they also assist in where our body moves for all the rest of our kick. The first kick is the easiest. You're going to do what's called a front kick lifting your leg straight forward, extending it out at the knee, and placing it right back down where it started. You'll notice the goal of this is not to do a fast snapping kick like you would in a competition, but rather to control slowly, making sure that your strength and your balance are all working over time. Doing about 10 to 20 of these over a course of a shorter period of time. The next kick is a little bit more advanced. It's going to involve more movement of your body to compensate. It's called a side kick. I'm going to bring my knee up again, but this time I'm going to tilt my body to the side while I extend my kick outwards, bringing it back together. Up, out into a straight line, back, and into your original position. The back kick is very similar. This time I'm going to bring it up and tilt my body forward as I extend my leg, bringing it back. All of these involving more advanced motion at the hip and requiring you to stabilize this opposite leg. The final drill is what's called a round kick. Bring your leg up into the side, extending it out, and bringing it back. As many times as you can maintain both the balance and the endurance in the lateral raised leg. Of course, you'll perform these on the opposite side as well. And attempt any of these with that repetitive raised motion to work on the endurance in the muscle group, whether it's forward, lateral, or posterior, to try and get a little bit more endurance out of it. Thanks.